so we can begin eh? right we are considering future options on the parliamentary procedures as well as breaches to the constitution and standing orders after what has happened during the sitting of the house that has just adjourned based on what has happened during the session of the house the opposition is now giving serious consideration to testing in court some of the parliamentary rulings that have been handed down to us. The recent elections did succeed in establishing a parliament, but our journey back to an accountable, an accountable and transparent system of government is still far from complete. Our experiences so far have demonstrated it is crucial for us to remain vigilant as we have endeavored to do during this session. We will continue to raise points of order and objections whenever the government uses its brute majority to stray from laid down procedures and gag legitimate debate. After eight years of military rule, the people are entitled to their parliament engaging in a full process of debate. In fact, they expect it. But the government is clearly reluctant to provide the parliamentary space required for this to happen. And unless there is a clearer demarcation between the executive branch of government represented by cabinet and the legislature, democracy in its true parliamentary sense will stay well out of reach. This situation will only improve if the legislature follows and applies its powers as provided in the Constitution. And these are clearly spelled out in section 77, 4 and 6. E and section 79 6 and for us from the opposition we look forward to the legislature adopting a more independent stance in the new year to ensure the separation of powers that is an essential part of any democratic society and we pray that this will be maintained through the new year